بکھران سور توبہ چیپٹر نائن آیت تھرٹی ون اوز باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم اتخاذو احبارہم و روح بانہم اربابا من دون اللہ والمسیح ابن مریم و ما امیرو اللہ لی یا بودو الہم واحیدا لا الہ الا ہو سبحانہ اما یشرکون صدق اللہ العظیم ٹرانسلیشن دے جوز اور کرسچنز ٹوک دیر سکولرز اور دیر منکس ٹو بی دیر گارڈز بسائٹس اللہ بائی اوبینگ دیم ان تنگز ویچ دے میڈ لاؤفل اور ان لاؤفل اکارڈنگ ٹو دیر اون ڈیزائرز ویڈاوٹ بینگ آرڈرڈ بائی اللہ اور دے آلسو ٹوک ایس دیر گارڈ مسیح دیٹ اس کرائیس son of Mary while they were commanded in the Taurat and Injil to worship none but one ilaha, one God, Allah, la ilaha illa huwa, none has right to be worshipped but he, praise and glory be to him, far above is he from having partners they associate with him. Hadith regarding this ayah they have taken their scholars and their monks as their gods. The Prophet ﷺ himself explained its true significance according to a hadith when Hazrat Adi bin Hatim, who was formerly a Christian, came to the Prophet with the intention of understanding Islam. He asked several questions in order to remove his doubts One of these was regarding this ayah explanation as taking our scholars and monks as our gods. What is its real meaning, sir? For we do not take them as our gods. As a reply to this, Holy Prophet put him a counter question. Is it not a fact that you accept as unlawful what they declare to be unlawful and lawful what they declare to be lawful. Adi confessed, Yes, sir, it is so. Holy Prophet replied, This amounts to making them your gods. Lesson from this hadith shows that those who themselves set limits to lawful and law unlawful without authority of Allah's book assume for themselves the rank of those who acknowledge their right of making laws, take them as their gods.